All right, 22.52 p.m., Sunday night. Still that night. Two movie reviews. We got Bio Broly from 94 and Hocus Pocus 2 from 2022. Yeah. So let's do Bio Broly, get that shit out of the way. So I finished watching, here's my thoughts. The clones look creepy as hell. Yes, they do. They look absolutely goddamn creepy. Oh, yeah, Corellin growing his hair out. Forgot about that. That's running gag in the fucking series. Uh, good old Hercule running gag as a series as well. <laughs> fucking idiot. Men Men has got to be the laziest name ever for a character. It's like they didn't give a fuck. Jaguar not being able to deliver zingers is hilarious. Or he delivers them, but they're always the wrong fucking words. I like the Bio Warriors. Shame they didn't have more to them. Oh, <sighs> fuck. Ah, that's how Broly was resurrected. His dry blood from his battle. I didn't remember how he came back. That was the one thing I didn't know. I don't know. I like Bio Broly's design. I really, truly like that. That's one saving grace from this film. Uh, damn, Bio Broly got melted down. The fight between him, Goten, Trunks, 18, and Chrome was okay. Could have had more. I do like Trunks' smart intelligence in this film. A decent highlight. Wild how the fluid will eat anything in its path and become more powerful. Like Cell. Actually, let me do that. No. Fucking controller. <sighs> Being a bitch. <sighs> Pretty cool that Seawater stopped it. So this was better than Second... So was this better than Second Coming? Fuck no. God, I thought it was, but no. Uh, it is the worst in the trilogy. I still can't believe... Did he need a trilogy? Not really, but it exists. Uh, the only cool thing is Broly's design, honestly. I'd honestly rate this a 3 out of 10. Like... There's a small story to it, but, like, there's no backstory on how Malusia got to Jaguar. So, there's another point off. So, that's two and a half out of ten. Um, it's just, it was a weird, not weird movie. Um, half-ass deal, honestly. <laughs> ah, fuck. So, Hocus Pocus 2. Here's my thoughts. <sighs> All right. Love the opening. It was nice. Finally, something unique other than the original shtick. Talking about the castle entrance. That was beautiful. They did put good choices in the young Sanderson sisters. So when he kissed Billy Butcherson. Okay. <laughs> Mother witch looking. Mm -mm -mm, good, man. Fuck the shit out of that bitch. Mm. Mm. Book looks good, too. Also like the spider as well. Opening song is catchy, but dog shit. <laughs> Cassie's cute Izzy shirt is cool with all the eyes. I like the eye shirt. That was that was a good uh, callback to the book. Mike's an asshole. That just goes without saying. He's a total asshole. <laughs> but how did the sisters come back, though? I don't know. <laughs> they all dead. They literally all died. <laughs> uh, Cassie's dad isn't funny. Nah, he... It's like... <laughs> it's like sitting through Mr. Ed. It's like sitting through Mr. Ed. And he's like, oh, that's funny. And then you find out that they used peanut butter to make him talk. And it's animal cruelty. <laughs> Damn, virgin teen girls lighting black flame candles. Okay. Ah, the candle resurrected them. Sarah. <laughs> this is the worst part. This is like. Sarah looks like she's cosplaying D. Snyder, cosplaying as Sarah Sanderson. <laughs> You go back, you watch that shit and tell me that's not true. Oh, God. Oh, God, the sister's drinking face lotions and shit. Oh. 
Gilbert Fanboy and the Sisters is pretty cool. There's some highlights in this film. Winnie getting going to use the power spell is going to be interesting. Billy's back. Woohoo. <laughs> I like the moon painting from them singing one way or another. Sarah doing a split was funny. Winnie kidnapping Cassie for the ritual was good. Smart Mary, oh, smart Mary having Roombas free them from their salt cat captivity. I'm gonna say cap captivity. God, uh, Becca's a witch. It's interesting, but could have been built up more. Definitely, it's cool. The sisters have powers. I liked that. That was nice. The Sanderson sisters are gone. Becca, Izzy, and Cassie become a new coven with the book in their possession. Billy Butcherson finally gets his eternal rest. So Mother Witch is the crow, I guess. Raven, I don't fucking know. <sighs> Shame she wasn't involved more. Definitely want to fuck her. <laughs> like, damn. Like, mm. Finally, there's a plot to this movie. Mother Witch. <laughs> God. Uh, was it a good story? Feels like Anne Fletcher took Casper and mashed it with the original Hocus Pocus to make this sequel. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's decent but lacks the magic of the original. And to top that shit off, it still didn't release on fucking Halloween. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh, like, ugh. how could you not release it on Halloween? You release it on September 30th? Are you that retarded? Damn, son of a bitch. <sighs> Arg. <laughs> Will there be a third film? Probably. Because <laughs> you got the second Black Flame Candle, Mother Witch, and the New Coven. And if, plus you could, I guess you could go back and do more on the Sanderson sisters when they were younger, but... Uh, it feels forced and sparkler-based nostalgia. Yeah. Usually when there's a sequel to something decades old, it's hit or miss. Top Gun Maverick, hit. Hocus Pocus 2 is not that hit. <laughs> it's charming but misses the mark. Like, it's good but like... <sighs> just, ugh. Fucking, ugh. But for this generation, it'll work for them. Would I want the Sanderson sisters to come back? Fuck no. Ugh, let them stay dead. Like, if you were bringing them back, I'd be so stupid. Because if they brought them back a third time and one of them died during production or any of the originals, it would ruin the whole story. It just, it would. They that happened with fucking Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Don't pull a Carrie Fisher. That's what I'm calling that. Better to focus on Izzy, Becca, and Cassie in a final installment. Yeah, three... Might as well cap the fucker off and be done with it. <laughs> Was this sequel needed? No. <laughs> but people said the same thing about Terminator Salvation. Yet it's become an underrated gem in the franchise. It is a good girl power film, and I like those types of films and shows. I really do. They're fun. It's honestly a 7.5 out of 10. Like, it's decent, good, fun, somewhat, but... Mm, I don't know. Am I upset Thora, Omri, and Vanessa weren't included? No. But I think that would have made it worse. Honestly. Imagine if they resurrected the Binks family. It would have been kind of stupid. It really would have been stupid. Like, the Binks family's back. Oh, no! Uh, kind of surprised the Sandersons didn't torture Mara Trask. Like, they had an opportunity there and didn't do it. The original was lightning in a bottle. This is more like glow sticks in a swimming pool. It's a cool aesthetic, but relies on callbacks to survive. Yeah. So, which one was better? I would have to say, given how these movies go, Hocus Pocus 2 actually beats Broly. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. 
But I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, it beats Broly. <laughs> like I, I want to like Hocus Pocus too, but honestly, yeah. sequels shouldn't be made for original Lightning in the Bottle productions. It's the truth. It's the honest fucking truth. People want them so badly to be good, and they'll praise the hell out of it when it's dog shit. Easily. <clears throat> and prime example is that. Of that is the OT. <laughs> In Christ. I'm not getting into that whole fucking argument, but you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> um, what else? I don't know. Broly, Bio Broly was dog shit. That's so sad. This is, I don't know, Hocus Pocus 2 can be labeled dog shit, but it's good, fun if you're, like, 90s nostalgic. But if you're, like, new gen and shit, you're just gonna be like, oh, yeah, I totally watched that, bruh. It was so good, bro. Oh, it was so good. And you were on your phone all the fucking time. And didn't see a goddamn thing. You just, oh, this is so cool, man. Oh, so good, bruh. Oh. Oh, man, that was so good. Oh, man. Whoa! What? <laughs> Nobody fucking cares. I mean, Christ. Ugh. It's like that face reel for Dream. Like, who fucking cares? God. Ugh. If the dude was black, nobody would give a flying fuck. Just saying. <sighs> So, or they call it SJW and woke. Like, whatever. There we go. Needed my light because that was going to dim. So, yeah. Did I have a good time? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Watching these films. Yeah, I had a good time. Um, But, you know, I'm not being mean to the films. I'm just like, that's how I feel about them. They're good. In their own separate ways, and they're bad in different ways as well. You know, you don't have to take my personal reviews to heart. You know, if you're like, oh, yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. But, you know, maybe you should rewatch it at a different point. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If I'm gonna, am I gonna rewatch Bio Broly? Fuck no. Don't feel like it. Am I gonna rewatch Hocus Pocus 2 at some point? <laughs> Doubtful. So, if you don't like Disney, you don't like Funimation, don't like Dragon Ball Z, don't like 90s cult classics made for made into sequels, these are not for you. If you like that sort of shit, go for it. Uh, I mean, at least, <laughs> at least they used actual footage from the original Hocus Pocus in this, which was smart versus, you know, like, Blah, 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 blah. And then cut to what's going on. You know what I'm talking about. <sighs> but, yeah. Did it need to have a sappy ending, though? No. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly just like the original, but only... Uh, sappy. Just saying. Sappy girl power. That's what I got. Sappy girl power. So, yeah. But yeah. That's all I got. So if you don't... You like my review? That's cool. If you don't, fine. Awesome. Sue me. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to get off here, upload this, and chill. Because I got other shit I want to do. And I just kind of want to relax. <laughs> so, until next time. Like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.